What the hell squad leader, three videos in a row. I'm not used to this. Well, you should get used to it. You see, content was not a problem for me. I got lots of things line up for my subscribers but, I don't have the time to share it as quickly as possible. That changes today as I'm going full time with being a YouTuber. If you like my content, and would want to keep the channel alive, then you can check out my Patreon page later. If you can't, then your like and subscription are enough to keep the channel growing. So, what we'll talk about in this video is about the upcoming change in the self-damage mechanic. In Digital Extreme's latest dev stream, they announced that self-damage will be gone. It will be replaced with a strong stagger or what they call as a self-interrupt mechanic. Instead of dying, your frame will just be staggered, and the intensity of the effect depends on how close you are within the blasting point. This means no more dying using Kuva Brahma, Lens, Zar, Tanka, and other explosive weapons. This means we might see a full suicidal squad in the future. But this also means... Other frames won't be that effective in certain missions anymore. The removal of self-damage has benefits and disadvantages. The good thing about this upcoming update is that, no more self-damage means we'll have some dumb fun with possibly almost every frame in the game. A jet stream's ever main is probably waiting for this update. A hall of mirror mirage will surely love this update. Even those stealth boys and gals are waiting for this one. And tell you the truth. Even I am excited about the removal of self-damage. There are endless synergies that you can create after this update. Weapons are not the only ones that would probably benefit from self-damage removal. Remember Exodia Contagion? That's or arcane that lets you nuke a group of enemies from a distance? This arcane will surely make a comeback. Even though the damage will not be as high when we still have broken Chroma, or nuking Wukong, still, it would serve as well, especially against non-armored units. But like I've said earlier, not all are good things with these upcoming changes. When there are buffs, there will be consequential nerfs. The most discussed topic now regarding the self-damage, is how it will affect Chroma. In the dev stream, Digital Extremes did say that they won't change anything in Chroma's kit, so he can cope up with the self-damage changes. But what exactly will happen to Chroma after this fix? Well, we all know that Warframe is a horde shooter and, Chroma does rely on inflicted damage to help him increase his Vex armor buff. It's really not a problem with general gameplay, since there will be enemies shooting at you and most likely, you will end up with full scorn and fury buff in no time. Not to mention that Vex armor is recastable now. When its duration is close to zero, you can just recast the ability to retain the buff and get a new duration. Honestly, there's no big problem with the change. In fact, it will make Chroma even better, since after the change, he can buff weapons like the Kuva Brahma, and use it to its full potential, without worrying about blowing yourself up. Well, that's if you are not taking down Eidolons with this dragon frame. Elite Eidolon Hunters, who use Chroma as their main DPS, usually use self-damage to get the fury buff as quickly as possible. Without self-damage, their Chroma is nothing. You are wrong. In my opinion, Removing self-damage doesn't exactly mean that Chroma will get nerf. You can still be effective at idol and hunts since you can still use Vex armor. Remember that we can still use a decaying dragon key with Chroma to reduce his shield value and most importantly, don't ever forget the fact that Eidolons have various attacks that will surely increase your fury buff in no time. The concealed explosives trick may be out of the picture. But that doesn't mean Chroma will get nerf after these changes. This should not be an issue honestly, as it would just take a few hits to fully charge your Vex armor buff. Although the self-damage trick was easy to pull off but still, this doesn't warrant a nerf. It's not even close to a nerf. And mind you, Chroma is not the only one that can be good in idle and hunts. There are lots of non-meta frames that can out-damage Chroma and honestly, Volt is at the top when it comes to idle and hunting, and there's no point arguing with self-damage and Chroma right now. Because honestly, I think that the removal of self-damage will make Chroma fun to play again. Like I've said, I'm kind of excited about this change. But also, there's a thought at the back of my mind that says it will make the game a lot easier. I consider self-damage as a challenge since you need to be at a safe distance to nuke enemies. Removing the consequence that you will die if you are not careful will remove that challenge, making it very easy to clear a room full of enemies. But hey, this game is a horde shooter, and we kill stuff and loot dead bodies. 
we might as well enjoy everything that is given to us instead of complaining. What's your opinion about the upcoming self-damage removal? Are you looking forward to it, or are you one of those players who dislike it? Let us know your opinions on the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.